Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toy Channel. Okay, uh, in front of me this time around, I want to show you guys uh, the Mitsubishi wagon. Okay, this is another wagon. I'm yes, I'm having a little bit of a wagon fever. Uh, this is the Mitsubishi Lagnum Super VR4. Okay, so this basically the wagon version of the Galan. Okay. Uh, so this is actually kind of kind of rare as well uh in it, it, this actually um was on the road in the uh, 1990s during that era okay so uh quick just a quick show how it looks like in the packaging okay yeah in the packaging it's like that paper box with uh with the uh the blister inside okay and then and then it comes with um the accessory so this time around uh, it comes with a little bit more. The last time around, I show you the Subaru, right? Um, this time, so the Subaru, the Subaru came with uh, extra bumper, extra set of wheels, okay, extra set of wheels, a uh, roof box, and uh, I think that's it. <clears throat> okay, so the Lagnum came with uh, extra set of wheels. Maybe I'll just take it up for you. I got it out already actually so yeah the reason why I got it out right because now I do more Facebook live sessions live unboxing so whenever there's any new arrival right uh, we will do live unbox over on Facebook do look us up there collectors cube that's Q U B E and uh, oh remember to hit the like button because that will help me out on the U uh, YouTube algorithms okay so I have already got them out of the box okay so I'm just gonna show you what it came with uh, it came with a set of wheels okay I don't quite like this set of wheels actually I think it's a little bit too bling for me so what happened is because I kind of need to do a little bit of preparation of uh, what I'm gonna expect so actually the black version I have already done the the modification okay so maybe in this video I'll show you the red okay but I think I'll just show you how to change the wheels and the bumper only um, because this one actually comes with the side skirt and then there's a spoiler as well so I, I'm kind of gonna skip those and just show you how that uh, how, how I install it on the black okay so it comes with this cradle now this cradle is supposed to help us um, to lower the car okay generally lower the front part all right so this cradle is actually gonna sit as a uh, part of the axle um, for the front okay later I'll show you a comparison as well to see how low the black ones sit right now okay you can, you can yeah you can see look how good it is sitting that low right I really it, it kind of kind of grow on me because I was having I was struggling with their high ace that was a very very bad place to start um, that gave us a lot of headache um, yeah but uh, after that I fiddle around with the starlet first and then um, after the starlet I played with uh, this legacy and now the Lagnum, okay? Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I kind of digress. Okay, this is the back skirt. Okay, this is the back skirt, the one that appear here. Okay, later I'm gonna sh just show it to you. This is the roof box, all right? Very shiny, just like the one um, it came with the Legacy. Okay, and then the two skirts, okay? Left and right. So even though it's red, uh, it came with a black skirt. Now this is a non-gloss, black so same with uh basically it's the same as the black the black came with a metallic not metallic glossy black skirt and then modified to a matte black skirt okay and then this is the back spoiler okay there's an additional spoiler for the back which i'll show you how i did it behind there and then this is the uh, double-sided tape okay which you can use this the long strip will be for the roof box, the short strip would be for the spoiler, okay? And then there is the plate, the license plate for the back, okay? Additional one. So this one, I feel it's really very extra. I don't think you really need it or need to change it, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to throw it there and move it aside later. Ha! Huh. And also the most important part, the front bumper. Okay, so there's an additional front bumper that you can play around with. And I really, really like it when uh, BM Creation gives us an extra set of bumper, right? It can be put as part of the diorama now. So that's actually quite nice. 
Okay, so this is the back. The back is, is the construction of the bumper as well. Okay, so uh, the other thing I really like what BM Creation has done, right? You see that mesh. Okay, can, you can see my finger behind it. So this is something that I really, really like that uh, BM Creation has done. So it makes the mesh so realistic rather than, you know, a whole piece of plastic, just a little bit of texture to it. So this is a real proper mesh, okay, on the front bumper. Okay, that is actually very nice. So that's why that's why these will actually go very, very nicely on uh, Daramas. Okay, so I'm just going to put it there for a while. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do the roof box. I'm just going to show it to you. The back skirt as well, I'm not going to do that. Um, this one, the, the spoiler, I'm not going to do that as well. Because I would just, yeah, I'm, I'm a black tech kind of guy. So everything, I just black tech. So I didn't need to use the double-sided tape. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. The number plates, yes, I think I'll do that. The skirting, okay, fine, I'll do that as well. And the cradle, okay. So, here we go, here we go. So, uh, maybe you should check out the car first, right? Uh, so, this is this is a super... Uh, let me get the name right. Mitsubishi Lagnum Super VR4. Basically, this is uh, based on the Galant um, on the 8th generation. This is um, released in uh, 1999. So... I really like the front headlamps of the Galan actually. It is very, very iconic, very Galan. You see how it's slanted inwards, right? So it's very nice that BM Creation is it has done that as well. Okay, it's, you can see it's slanted, slanted slightly inwards, right? Because that is actually very nice. It's a very, very Galan thing. And somehow, I don't think any other car has, 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 has um, repeated this kind of design. Okay, so it's a very iconic Galan. Um, design okay so on the side this is a uh, red it's available in red and black mm, not nothing fancy just normal paint normal solid red uh, but from the some of the YouTube videos that that I watched uh, while doing homework for this car right they did mention that you know Mitsubishi uh, red paint do fade over time um, it seems that it is a known problem so please do let me know if, if that is true even you know especially if you own one. Um, because when I read through, right, the Lagnum um, Super VR4, it's only available in red and silver. That's what I understand. And only 800 units was made uh, for this special version. So there is a Type S and then there is another Type, I can't recall what, what alphabet was that. So there was a couple of release of this, but the, specifically the Super VR4 version, um, not many was made. That's what I'm, I was made to understand. Okay, all right. And one common thing that happened on my minor is on the hood, right? I have this problem, paint problem on the black as well. It somehow has that stain where I just somehow can't wipe it out. So I don't know where the stain came from. So that kind of bothers me a bit. And yeah, because I'm going to do so much modification to it, right? It's definitely going to have a lot of my fingerprint on it. Okay, so side mirrors. Sorry, I, <laughs> I digress. Side mirrors is a, sec is a separate piece. Um, they are not exactly aligned. The height is okay this time around. Compared to my Legacy, one is higher than the other. But uh, this one, the angle does look a little bit odd. <laughs> Can you look at that? Uh, it's a separate piece, so it definitely looks more realistic. But it's going to be difficult, you know, to take a rear shot, right, of this. Because the side mirror looks so odd. Okay, and then there's the um, that's a side view, and then we we'll go to the front. So the headlamps is a separate piece that's very nice. The lignum plate in front again, it's slanted. That's not nice. Let me just zoom in so I can show it to you. Yes, okay. Uh, fog lamp um, painted in silver. I'm okay with that. All these little details here, it's done proper. I think that that's quite nice. Um, slide stock skirting we see down here okay so on the modified one uh, on the modified one right there is an additional part to it because the i was looking at it and and i was wondering did they just give me the exact same bumper no no they didn't um it's basically the same for the black as well so it's a gloss black and then a matte black skirt underneath okay all right so additional um so it looks much lower this time around okay Alright, so that's an additional front bumper that they give. 
Mitsubishi, I think it's a Mitsubishi logo down there. It's so small that I can't really see it, maybe through the camera. In 4K, you will be able to tell. Now I'll go to the back, right? Um, you, can, you can feel that this um, BM Creation stuff, right? It's not exactly premium. See, it cuts, it kind of cuts my finger. Okay, at the back here, this is the, the extras from the tail lamp. Okay, it happens on both sides. This one as well, it cuts my finger. Okay, so... But, uh, at its price, with all the accessories, I... I, it, I think it's forgivable. I would forgive it. <laughs> okay, uh, tail lamp is okay. Um, I would have wished them to make this uh, groove here a little bit deeper so that you can see that this is actually a separate door, okay? It does not open together with the whole brake light. Um, back plate, okay, the license plate at the back. This can be changed later on. I can show you Mitsubishi logo down here, Lightnum logo up here. Anything else? Muffler, go underneath. Um, muffler, muffler, the exhaust system all the way from the front to the back. That's nice. So like I've mentioned before, when, when there's um, details underneath, right, it's nicer. Uh, you know, it makes it so that it's possible for us to put it into a diorama on top of a two-post leaf or a four-post leaf. And then for photographs, that would look very very nice okay so riveted by a single screw and honestly speaking i do quite prefer the stock original wheels compared to the spare wheels that i gave it's just too much bling for me and i have already tried i have already tried i am not able to lower it um using the stock wheels okay i can only lower it using um the modified wheels okay now you can see the black one right it's so much lower it definitely looks quite good, right? Okay, we'll go to that a little bit later. Maybe now I can show you how do we want to do the change. Okay, single revert by screw. And uh, a quick reminder again, because for, for this setup, right? Um, <clears throat> do make sure you have a comfortable space to work with because this will actually just fall off. Okay, and... Um, the screw is all quite small for my fat fingers, so they do tend to drop off, run around, and uh, I do have trouble if you know <laughs> if they fall onto the floor, which is a carpet in the office. I'm gonna have a hard time looking for them. Okay, so that's out. That's out. So the skirt is actually installed here like that. That's pretty clever actually. Okay, like that. So we will we will we will explore this later. Okay, I'll just remove it first. Just remove it. See, it's it's a plug-in. It's a very plug-and-play. No tools required. Per se, you just need a screwdriver. Two screwdrivers. I, I, I used a, um, a fillet and also a flat screwdriver to help me remove some of the stuff. Um, let's do a quick checkout on the interior. Nice details, okay, on the side door. Okay, there's some details on the dash as well. What can I see? Um, no, not much. But um, I would I would comment on the steering wheel. Okay, there is details to it and the center console as well and a gear lever. So actually not bad. Not bad for um, mid-range diecast. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Full black. This time around it's all in full black. Okay, so we'll so that's that's the interior. Maybe since I'm holding the interior, um, I'll just plug in, okay? So the skirt, right? You have a sharp end, okay? This is this would be the front part of the car, okay? So it's just snap on, and it's a little bit tight, which I like. So it helps it, helps hold it up, okay? So that's one side done, and we do for the other. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wrong wrong side sorry the pointy thing should face upwards okay hang on see that's why that that's the thing about bm creation no they they just give you the parts with no manual or anything so it makes it it does make it look like it's very very easy it can be easy but it can be very frustrating as well because these things are just so small okay so the skirts are in Okay, it may just fall off again later, but uh, we'll, we will revisit. So the main key headache, 
<laughs> most of us have is the wheels okay so here we go here we go i'm just gonna remove one there you see you just fall off right so make sure you work you know with a plate or somewhere where you know if it drops off it doesn't just roll away from you okay i'm just gonna put the plate aside so i prefer to do it one at a time so i just remove the front rather than front and back and then i'll start having headaches <laughs> yeah okay so that that's where uh the flat the flat screwdriver comes in because this helps me remove it much more easier okay and then we have the cradle now the thing about the cradle right i because it's kind of like the trick they give you the parts and then you know i thought that you know i'm going to use all of them but apparently no so that's not always the case so that's why i will prefer to check uh if i want it lowered right i will want a shorter cradle um, because i want it to be as close to the base as possible right so from here it seems it looks like both are actually the same but one wider than the other okay we have one cradle that's wider than the other so i'm just gonna swap it out okay so that i don't go through any any other headaches later on so i'm gonna use this the wider one okay you see that index down there you can see it's kind of showing you the finger right okay so uh, there we go it's in all right so that you don't mess up it left and right so that's part of the cradle that's in now this one this is one of the thing that gave me a huge headache the last time around so i'm gonna let you know what's the trick to it just make sure this bar okay it's on the upper side okay so if you're doing it this way you're gonna cry <laughs> So I don't want you to cry okay so make sure the bar is on the upper side okay and then there's there's the little pins okay down here can you see where my finger is showing okay okay that little nipple thing okay it goes into the hole okay cool okay let's let's try that let's try it let's try it oh, because yeah then again see I get so frustrated doing it because I'll just plug it in for a while and then oh it will just drop out so um the difference now is the washer goes in now not last okay when you remove it the washer was the first thing you remove right but when you go in right when you go back in when you do the reverse your washer is not the last thing it's gonna be here in the middle because what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretty much lower the right height the overall right height of the lignum okay why is it not going in okay it's following the finger shape uh yeah see with all that snapping sound but it still doesn't go in why is it so annoying just flip it around and wonder if it helps yep okay so if you're stuck you just need to flip it okay just flip it and it's in this time around so i'm going to try again see i got it wrong with my fat fingers i believe in you if i can do it you can do it too okay I think it's in is it in no it's not in yet hang on hang on oh, it's just so annoying i can't see yeah a couple with fat fingers and bad eyesight just a little you, yeah i think you just need a little bit more patience i i'm trying to speed it up because i <laughs> i'm recording a video so again this one now the cradle you know, you can see the cradle right this downwards okay so again there's pins and then there's hole up here so that's what you want to aim towards oh shit <laughs> i'm officially annoyed okay i'm gonna try it the other way maybe it's easier because the pins for the pins for the upper side right seems to be longer so maybe i'll try it this way maybe it's easier okay if you're getting bored you can always fast forward that's the two times the speed function now on youtube okay 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 is it easier i think it's slightly easier okay i think it's slightly easier so maybe you want to put the because it's a, it has a longer pin on one end so maybe it's easier slightly easier to to install the longer pin first and then you go for 
the, the, the shutter pin okay so I think I think I have it in so the other thing I like about this BM creation stuff right is um, you can install it lowered and the wheels is already cambered okay you get you get a, a, a very very nice camber to it so it is gonna be very nice for photographs now this is another challenge I'm gonna have because the screwdriver that I have does not have that magnetic function to it so yeah, I'm gonna oh man <laughs> I was so worried it's gonna fall on the floor okay just twist it in a little bit okay 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 you know what you know what I can't I can't do this I can't do this I'm just gonna grab that screwdriver okay am I am I am I on screen am I on screen properly yes okay here we go here we go oh it's in okay cool uh, okay things kind of snapped out for a bit there is that everything in place yes everything's in place is it turning nicely yes it is just screw it a little bit tighter okay nice nice got it in got it in it does look like it's very very low which is something that I like I like okay now we go to the back that's done for the front and then we go to the back now again um, hang on hang on take a deep breath so <laughs> the screws don't run away from me okay so we have the washer on the top right okay this washer additional piece on the top now it's on the top you want it you want it lowered right you want it lowered so you gotta for the modified part it has to be the the first one to go in so first one to go out okay for the modified part first one to go in you want to lower it okay you don't want to lower it it's fine as well but it's going to look very very weird with that very bling wheels and then it's not lowered okay it's fugly hang on okay almost out almost got it out hang on oh i'm hitting 20 minutes okay let me just try to speed it up as much as i can so washer first washer goes in first hang on okay and then um the wheels right i'm going to show it to you again there is a groove to it you see this this one has a groove on the corner here where my fingernail is yeah this one does not have okay so the one with the groove goes in first okay the one with the groove goes in first okay hang on Goes in first. Follow. Um. Follow that index thing again, so I don't get it wrong. Okay. Weird. It's stuck. It doesn't want to go in there. Snapped in. Finally. Okay. Gotta get this one in as well. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna put it down here one of the screw to go in first that's one of the challenge that I have without that magnetic screwdriver okay just get one in so that it's in position okay that's one and then we'll get the other one hang on bear with me oh, so annoying oh No, why? Why not? Oh my god! Fast forward. Yep, hit that fast forward button. Okay. Yes. Crap. Okay. It's in. It's in. It's secure. Okay. It's in and it's secure. Cool. Cool. Okay. Very tight. Very tight. But very low. Very very low. That's what we want. That's what we want. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, bumper. Now bumper, it's uh, held on to by these two pillars here. So it's a little bit tight on mine. Okay, it's a little bit tight on mine. So what I'll do is I'm going to use that flat screwdriver, right? And I'll just bend it up a little bit. Give it a bit of a nudge for it to come out nicely. 
Okay, I'm knocking to everyone. Hang on, almost. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, it's out. Maybe I should leave it here, right? That's a very nice piece. Okay. Alright. Okay, the spare one goes in very easily. So, oh, that's good and bad. I'm just worried if it goes in so easily, right? Then I may have... Now, uh... Oh, I forgot the interior. The interior with the skirt, right? Okay. So it goes in like that. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So the skirt kind of dropped off, right? Kind of put it, plug it back in. Like that. Okay, got it in on both sides. Yeah, I'm gonna install it upside down. I think it's easier and things don't run away from my fingers. Okay, so the back part, right, um, is a little bit of a challenge. So I feel this part is actually really an extra. They should just do it like, you know, like how Hot Wheels does it. It's just a hook rather than doing this plate thing. I don't think it's, I don't think it's really necessary. I think it's very extra. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to hear a snap now, but I'm not. Why is that? I think it's in. No, it's not. Okay, see? That's one of the trouble that we have. Okay, why is it not going in? Is it the skirt or... What is it? I'm making a mess. Okay, no, it seems to be okay. Hang on, the plate is supposed to go in there as well. I'm wondering, is it because my the interior I didn't install it properly? See? See? That's the thing about it being loose. So when it's loose, right, things will just fall off quite easily. Okay, okay, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I feel so good hearing that snap. But still, something is not right. Something is not right. Why is it not snapping in all the way? I'm using a little bit of force already. I think it's the back, um, probably where the hook is supposed to go. I think that is not sitting correctly where it's supposed to. And see, and I'm getting my interior and everything falling off. I'm officially getting annoyed. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the thing about, about these things. Um, they look intuitive. They look easy, but uh, just when you're not realizing it, they'll, they'll get you. They'll just get you. Okay, that's really strange. Okay, am I in? So I'm in without that plate behind. So I feel strange. Because the other one, I managed to do it. Okay, you know what? In the interest of time, I'm just going to lock this up. And I'll show you, I did it, okay, I did it, I didn't cheat, I've done it before, I blame, I blame BM Creation, okay, I blame them for it, okay, let me just lock this up, okay, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm very annoyed, <laughs> oh, there we go, but, even though I'm annoyed, it still looks damn good, right, okay, now it's lowered, not as low as I want it to be though. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let me just let her stand proper. Okay. Now, uh, so the other parts that I didn't show you, right, is the extra wing on top. Okay, this wing. Okay, that goes here. So what I did is, what I did is, I used a tiny bit of black tag, okay, on both sides, left and right. 
Okay, and then it goes up nicely. Nicely, you can't even tell that it's there. Okay, <laughs> you almost can't tell that it's there. All right, so this one I didn't clean up. I didn't clean up because I'm gonna use this side. <laughs> okay, so that's the black tag. Okay, and then the, the this skirt, the additional skirt for the back. Okay, again, I use a tiny bit of black tag. All right, and voila. Okay, additional skirt for the back. All right, and then the next thing would be what else? What else? Uh, skirt, 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 black tag. Done. Done. There we go. There we go. So, what do you think? I'm no, I'm, I just no. These wheels are just not working for me. I'm. I'll probably gonna change it back to the stock wheels. Okay, <laughs> the stock wheels look so much better. I don't understand why they give you why why they give us the bling such a bling, um, such a bling wheel. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you if you if you like these wheels. I don't know what they're called. Uh, if you do know, please do let me know in the comment section below. Um, so remember, do look us up on Facebook, uh, Collectors Cube. That's Q U B E. Uh, help me that help me to hit that like button as well. Uh, smack that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Uh, so that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe and stay sane, guys. Bye.